gonna take the broth and put it into this stock pot right here and put the broths in it and let it cook for like eight hours, I think. So I'm still working on these. Let's see, see where they are. Looks good, we don't want them burn. Looks about like that. And this baby gets turned over. About ready, I'm gonna turn the heat down. So I already poured some in, like right here. But I want to pour the rest in. This has got a lot of like little particles that are really good um, from the beef. I'm going to pour the rest of that in. That's our top. Some of that water is going to uh, like evaporate. And next step. I broke everything up in here. There's a lot of fat, which is really nice. And um, we're putting that in. Make sure we mix it around a little bit. Well, we got those brats on the bottom. So the brats are the indication to the final. Um, I've, I haven't really done this before, so that's what, you know, I want to, like, make a really good stew with, like, onions and everything. So I took this out of the stock pot um, yesterday and had it sit in the fridge all night. Um, just so the fat would come to the top. I'm going to uh, strain this off set it aside so I mainly wanted to get the big chunks out of there and I'll leave all the little ones uh, next I want to find all these uh, all these brats that are in here and put them to the side because I want to slice these up and then we're going back into the stock pot I mean the, the crock pot we we'll get all these out of here if I can find them they're there in there well, that's all the brats I have left. I ate a few of them already. Um, this is going back in. We've already got the stock in here. And I'll be adding a few cans of uh, beef barley soup, which I like. These, this is non-condensed, and then I have a vegetable beef condensed. Um, I'll just add these two, leave that one out for later. And then spices and vegetables, and let it go again for the final. So just adding those two cans in, this is what we've got to look at right now. I mean, this would work. Uh, I want to put my own spices in, pepper, garlic, put some turmeric in, um, and then some fresh vegetables kind of near the end. Carrots will go in right now. Uh, i got to get all that sliced up. So I've got some huge chunks of garlic. I had to cut them in half for my garlic. Um, garlic sauce here. Let me try to fit one in this. And there we go. That's the amount of garlic I'm putting in. I'm putting all of this in. Oops. Do that one handed like this. Oh, that's a lot. The garlic carnage. This is going to be loaded. There's tons of garlic in here. Um, my daughter's out skiing right now. She'll probably want some of this. It'll be done right in time when she gets back. Um, got some snow out there. Uh, I'd like to go skiing myself today, but I've got to get ready for this um, big tile job I start tomorrow. A small bathroom I got to tear apart and uh, retile the whole thing, shower everything in the floor. It's not huge, but it's big enough for me. Demo work starts tomorrow. Yeah, so I did have to set this on high to get it up uh, to a better temp uh, within the time frame that I wanted to eat. And here we go. I mean. Try a sample, like a big sample, and I've got some scallions chopped up, add that on top, it'd be nice to have some grated cheese, I don't have that right now, and we'll take a little taste, mmm, mm-hmm, not bad. Oh, very good actually. I might add some spice, uh, some more hot. I might add a little hot sauce, which I have not done. Mm hmm. Very good. Have a good week, everyone. Thanks for watching.